Hey everybody, Doug Rucker here. Got another little semi-enclosed trailer build. We just got done with it as a matter of fact, but I'm uh, gonna show you a few things that we did to uh, a system that was pretty much already installed but made a few changes. Coming up next. All right, so on this enclosed trailer build, we actually had one of uh, one of our YouTube viewers located right here locally in Humble, Texas, uh, brought us this enclosed trailer. He had pretty much already had it built out. In fact, had a really cool thing where the pressure washer slides out on tracks. Um, but he wanted us to add the King Slinger soft wash system, uh, hose reels in this area. And then he also wanted the remote control shirts box that I use. Um, and so just a few little things, you know, a tank for the bleach tank, things of that nature. So um, it was kind of a, a build. We had to work around space so that we could still give him room to walk around and move about. And so that's one of the things that we did with the hose reels was we actually put those on glides and I'll sh that'll be coming up here in a minute in uh, a separate video. But I uh, just kind of want to give you guys an idea of what it looked like when it came to us. And so what we did was on the back side, we added the Kingslinger soft wash system there. You can see on the left, along with the drainage plumbing kit for the barrels for the moisture to go out through the bottom of the floor. Then the 80, 80 gallon uh, vertical tank with the bands around it. That's the tanks that I use um, on all of our rigs, water, bleach, whatever it is. And then of course, all the plumbing to the bleach tank, to the King Slinger um, water tank. And then we added these hose reels, which are actually on slides. And I'll show you a video of that working coming up here where the, the hose reels can actually very easily be, move, be moved uh, back and forth. So it just makes it so much easier. This was actually Will's idea, the owner, um, based on what he had done with the pressure washer. And so um, we made some slides, found some slides, and put these into uh, the bed of the truck or the trailer. And... Uh, show you coming up in a minute how those work but that's uh, a, a really neat thing to do to save a lot of space and make space more usable and easier to get to that space because normally hose reels are put you know right there at the steps where you come up and so this just makes it so much easier to get in and out of the trailer to get things as you need it and store the hose reels away uh by the way guys if you're getting uh enjoying this video hey make sure you leave me a like a comment um subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button that way you get notifications every time i come out with uh videos like this but uh most importantly anytime i can answer a question or help you guys that's what i want to do so uh leave me a comment leave me a question and uh, here in this picture is a picture of the winch. I just wanted to show this before I bring the actual video on of the walkthrough. Uh, but this winch is what controls the pressure washer that the customer had already had built. We can, of course, build something like this very easily for anybody that wants something like this in an enclosed trailer. Um, and it's very, it's really cool. You'll see coming up in the video, it allows them to move the pressure washer out um, of the trailer completely, uh, whether he needs to use it or maintenance on the equipment or whatever, just makes it so much easier to get it outside of the trailer um, very easily. So coming up, I'll show you the video of the actual walk, walk around of the inside of the trailer. Okay, guys, on this trailer build, this is actually kind of a semi trailer build. Will brought it to us from here in Humble. And uh, he had most of this already built. Well, you had this little track designed already um, and the hot water machine in there. So what we did was we came in and we added this, uh, the Kingslinger 10 gallon per minute system along with the 80 gallon 
permanent tank. And then we also put in his shirt box remote um, for downstreaming. And so that's all set up so he can downstream now with his remote, wash uh, houses or buildings, switch from bleach to water, um, not have to walk back and forth to the truck. And as I uh, showed in the, uh, or will show in a minute, this is all set up on a winch to where he can roll the hot water system out if he needs to. Um, makes it very easy for venting for the hot water part of it and also makes it very easy for maintenance and servicing so he can actually bring it all the way out here onto the ramp if he needs to the other thing that we did was we added a stackable hose reel and we put it actually on slides ed's going to show you how that works so when he's not using it he has room where he can walk in and get to there and so the reels just slide up they have an actual lock they really lock right there so when he gets on a job he can pull all his hoses off then when he's done he reels up and the reels slide back and there's a lock a little hole there in the floor that you can put the lock in and keep it stationary so that's what we did the reels the king slinger and the little remote control uh, shirts box so we can help you in any way or any type of build that you need just let us know Okay guys, that was it. That was the uh, enclosed trailer rig semi build that we did, adding the King Slinger 10 gallon per minute soft wash system, the tank, the shirts box, and the hose reel and the little glide system for the hose reel. So, hey, if any of you need a uh, rig built, enclosed trailer, open trailer, truck bed, whatever you need, just let me know. Uh, hit me up with a comment in, below. And again, make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that bell uh, so you get notifications, leave me a like and uh, any questions, comments. I just love answering questions, like I've said before. And don't forget, you know, if you're just starting your business out, I've got an online video school, have had it for probably about eight or nine years, probably the first one that ever came out uh, with an online video school. It's complete with testing. If you want to take tests, you can do that. You don't have to, it's an option. Um, but right now there's about 270 videos on there with modules uh, for the pressure washing school, roof cleaning school, soft washing school, all of that uh, house washing, roof cleaning, concrete cleaning, property protection. Mm -hmm. So it'll help you drastically cut your learning curve if you're just starting a pressure washing or soft washing business or, you know, just been in it a few years will probably help you immensely pressurecleaningschool.com um, and you'll see the tab there that says online video school. So thanks so much for watching. And uh, if I can help you guys in any way, just leave me a question or comment and y'all have an awesome rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this. Take care.